Hello Linux gamers and welcome to my desktop. I run this monitor in 21 by 9 at a resolution of 3440 by 1440. So yeah, it's quite wide. It's quite a nice area for me to work in. As you can see, my panel, I've stuck into the center of the screen. And the reason that I do that is so when I do share videos that are in 16.9, you get to see everything and I, I've got borders in which I can work. So I know that when I'm in 16 by 9, this edge is all cut off. So yeah, it actually works quite nicely as a, as a, as a marker for where I can do things. And my general setup tends to be, I'll have my webmail open. And what I do is I'm using Kwin scripts as a tile manager. So I'll drag that, pop that down there and I might open up Discord and uh, I'll pop that maybe up in here and then I'll have my normal web page and I'll grab that and I'll stick that there and I might have my emotes so I'll press uh, the meta key and E that opens up my emotes and then I can pop that across all desktops so I'm now starting to get a setup and how I like it I might have a file manager open so I'll pop that down here and then I can start to do my work. I can look through all of the various different things I need to do. And then perhaps I might think, actually, I've put that on the main screen. Maybe I need to move it over to my gaming screen. So I've got four virtual desktops here, main, gaming, content creation and work. So let's say I want to move my email. This is a mock up email, obviously, uh, for I don't want to dox myself. Uh, so what I can do is press Windows G and that brings up all four desktops and I can say, right, I need to move my webmail over to my work one and now I'm work. So you can see that down there on work, I've got my webmail, I can bring that to here and I can do some work and I might want to open up some other tools, whatever. I might want to do LibreOffice and bring that up and I can say, right, I can move my webmail over to there and I'll start working on this blah and blah and blah uh, and also yeah one really really important thing please uh, do not forget oh, forget to subscribe uh, like and comment yeah there you go and then what you can do is obviously change that to much much better let's do it to my my brand font there we go don't forget to do that. So yeah, and then I can obviously, if I want to, I can bring that over into a different screen. Maybe I want to do it in the same screen as my OBS because maybe I've got my script there so I can do everything in, in my OBS piece. And then what I can also do is move it back to there, go back to here. And then maybe I want to open up my Mac and do some editing on my Mac. So that's now open. I'm still on main. Maybe I want to bring that over onto the content creation page. So I can do that. And then I can just literally drop that into there or expand out. And then I can go into here and do all of my editing. Um, very, 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 uh, very cool. Um, I can't remember the button there. There you go. So yeah, and it's, it's pretty responsive across Parsec. Obviously you can't see what's going on on the Mac, but yeah, it's very cool. And then I can uh, cl close that drag that down to here. Maybe I want to move that back to the main screen and work in here, pop that over here, go onto my YouTube, check out what's going on with all the YouTube stuff, go onto my website. I really like KDE. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, I've also changed the uh, the panel to one that I like. Now I did have it where it was set to rounded edges, but since the update, I can't work out how to, to do it. Um, so I'm using color, uh, sort of panel colorizer. And I'm currently using the uh, Sleek preset, which is this one here. Uh, now, the one that I want to use is Carbon, which is that one. So if I load that, so I get these edges. I quite like the way that it's broken up. And I did have that before. But the issue that I'm having is when I go in and try and change this, the appearance and stuff, I can't get rid of that blue border. Um, so I'm sticking with Sleek for now as uh, in fact, I've started to create my own own one trying to work out. I don't want to do update. I want to do uh, load. There we go. But once I work that out, I'll, um, I'll share that and then I can close it off. And there we go. So just a very, very quick 
whistle stop tour on my desktop and yeah let me know do you use kde what tile manager do you use what desktop environment do you use i'd be really interested to know so yeah let me know what your favorite is and why if you've made it this far thank you so much don't forget to pop a comment down below or an emoji for the sake of engagement you guys take care and i'll catch you in the next one